Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Mohammad Ruslan Parvez and I am the head of IT at Usman Institute of Technology. Welcome to the first of uh, many short tutorial videos that I'll be sharing with you, which will guide you on how to use the tools that will be used for your online classes, um, which we have resumed from June 2020. So firstly, in this video, we'll be discussing how to access your Microsoft Teams account and the different versions that are available for you to use. Firstly, uh, starting with the web version, open your web browser and go to teams.microsoft.com. Once you go there, you come up to the sign in page. Just may up up the Microsoft credentials up darling. Now these credentials were shared with you uh, via your UIT email address. After the registration of the complete card, the Akapas credentials I Hong. The credential would look something like this. It would be your username. That's uh, your role number followed by uitq.edu.pk. Not to be confused with your UIT email address, which is at uit.edu. This one is uitu.edu.pk. Ensure that you enter your Microsoft credentials and not your UIT email address over here. This is the password. UIT password. And um, it asks if you want to stay signed in. Um, I would recommend if you're using a shared PC, click no. I have a credential to uh, save rahe or koi or aapka account access na kar sake. But if you're using a personal PC and you don't want to enter your credentials every time, aap is pe yes kar le so that your credentials are saved or aapko bar bar login karne ki zarurat na pade. In this video, I'll be selecting no, just for the sake of it. Okay, this comes up to one of the errors that you may encounter when you log in. Just aapne dekha yahan pe ek aara hai bad request. Um, nothing to worry about. All you need to do is click back to go to the previous screen and click back again. Once you do that, it will continue with the sign in process. It's a small bug with Microsoft in which they will resolve. Like, and it uh, doesn't stop you from logging into your account. Now, this is your Microsoft Teams interface. We'll be discussing the interface in detail in the next video, but in this one, I would need to uh, show you this little button over here, which is download the desktop app. So click on this, your PC will be an exe file jo hai, wo download. Ho jayegi, and uh, usko run on this, you can use the desktop client of Microsoft Teams. Now, HEC has recommended to use the desktop version compared to the web version because it is apparently uh, uh, more stable or usko jo hai wo, usme features jo hai wo, comparatively zyada hai. Uh, not, uh, not that uh, that I've observed many features, like and it's recommended. Besides your uh, web version, your desktop version, you also have your uh, iOS and Android version as well. Just aap dekhen aapka Google Play Store pe grab jayen, there is a Microsoft Teams official app from Microsoft Corporations which you can install on your tablet or on your cell phone, Android cell phone or Android tablet, yeah, is it a app store pe jaake aap apne iOS iOS ki jo hai wo app aap download kar sakte hain. I would recommend not to use your Android or iOS app that much because um uh, aap usko messaging ke liye or for updates ke liye use kar sakte hain. But if you want to submit assignments, if you want to uh, attend classes, you can do it in the uh, app but due to the small screen size we recommend that you use the desktop or the web version uh, well that's it for this video in the next video we'll be looking into details of the interface of microsoft teams and we'll go from there thank you for your time and stay tuned